Thank you so much for coming. I'm so encouraged to see this many people here to think about something that is very, very important. I'd like to pray and then have you look at a text with me before we launch into these sometimes complex and very relevant issues for your life, where you are, whether you're single or married, whether you're young or old, you're all male and female, male or female. And so how you live that out at whatever age is a large part of who you are as God made you. And so this gets real close to your very core identity. So let's pray and ask for God's help. Father, we want to talk about man as male and female and what the differences are and why they matter. And everyone in the hearing of my voice is male or female and called to be that under your sovereign care as the creator and the redeemer of the world. And so help me be faithful to your revelation. You have not left us without a word about these things. We're not drifting in ignorance. Your word speaks to this issue. And I believe on many scores it speaks clearly, even if every problem it doesn't address. And so I pray that there would be granted here a love of Christ and a love of his word and a submissive spirit, male and female, to you as our great God and authority and redeemer. Come, I pray, and help me, help us when we have chance to interact to go deep about these things and lead lives that display Christ more fully to this world, we pray in his name. Amen. Let's go to 2 Timothy, just for an introduction. Give you a little biography or autobiography and take 1 Timothy as my, 2 Timothy as my starting place. Second Timothy 3, very familiar text in verses 16 and 17. Not as familiar if you go back up to verse 14. So let's do that. Second Timothy 3, verse 14. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have faithfully believed, knowing from whom you learned it, Now, who is that? Look at chapter 1, verse 5. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that dwelt first in your grandmother, Lois, and your mother, Eunice, and 